Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Cr2SO4 3 plus KOH. This is chromium 3 sulfate, and here we have potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see there are two chromiums here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the chromium 3 hydroxide. Now I have two chromiums, that's good, but I have 2 times the 3, so I have 6 of these hydroxides. I've got to put a 6 in front of the KOH. That balances the hydroxides, now I have 6 potassiums. How about a 3 here? 2 times 3, that's 6 potassiums. Those are good, and we have 3 sulfates here and 3 sulfates here. We're done. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. So sulfates in general, they're going to be soluble. So both of these substances, they're soluble. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it's going to be soluble, even though in general, when we have this OH bonded to a metal, we have the hydroxide here, hydroxides in general are insoluble. And chromium hydroxide, that's insoluble. So we're going to put a solid here. That'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate when these two substances react. Once we have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that we didn't split the solid apart in the net ionic equation. So this chromium-3 hydroxide, that's the precipitate, and we're going to keep that together when we write the complete ionic equation. Now that we have this complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants on the top, I see three sulfate ions here. And then in the products, I have three sulfate ions. These are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. Six potassium ions. And again, in the products, six potassium ions. Let's cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Cr2SO4 3 plus KOH. Let me clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 sulfate and potassium hydroxide. We could reduce these coefficients down further. If we divided each number by 2. That would give us, and that might be a little bit better. You should note that we have charges balanced. We have 3 plus here, and then we have 3 times 1 minus. So that's 3 minus. So that all adds up to 0. This is neutral net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Cr2SO4 3 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.